Have we not seen this movie before? A veteran goaltender in his mid-30s making $6 million a season while his much younger backup has better numbers. Of course we have. It would appear Roberto Luongo and Corey Schneider have been recast. The roles now belong to Ryan Miller and Eddie Lack. And in the words of Yogi Berra, it's deja vu all over again. The only difference is Miller is not complaining that his contract sucks. Why should he? It's a three-year deal worth $18 million, complete with a no-trade clause. But the question hockey fans in this city are starting to ask is this. Is it Miller time? After all, he's lost six of his last nine starts, and since the start of the year, he is 0-7 against Western Conference teams. In the meantime, Lack has won three straight, all against playoff teams. Now, all of this is not to suggest the Canucks should panic and start screaming, the playoff sky is falling, the playoff sky is falling. But it should force this organization to rethink its goaltender situation. Next year, Lack will become an unrestricted free agent, and there's no chance that he will re-sign as a backup. A trade would solve that problem. It would also avoid the same mistake this organization made two years ago with Corey Schneider. Fortunately, the Canucks were able to turn the first-round draft pick into Bo Horvat. But that's not going to happen with Eddie Lack. Here's an idea, and it comes directly from our producer, Satcher. We call it the Sat Plan. This summer, sign Lack to a long-term contract and then trade Miller to San Jose. Trust me, this is not as crazy as it may sound. Andy Niemi of the Sharks is about to become an unrestricted free agent, and San Jose has no interest in re-signing him. It means the Sharks are going to be in need of a proven NHL goaltender. And best of all, they have the cap space to make it work. As for Miller, he would certainly waive his no-trade clause simply because his wife is an actress working in Los Angeles. So maybe this time the Canucks can get it right with the ending of this movie. And once they do that, then they can call David Chase and do something about that last episode of The Sopranos.